So here are some cuttings that I um, took out of the plants a week ago. I haven't watered it yet, so that's why they kind of look droopy. Um, but today I'm going to water them when it gets a little bit warmer. It is about 50 degrees out here. And then yesterday, the same plants where these guys came from, <laughs> just over the weekend, the little ones have already gotten big. I, I think they like the cold weather for some reason. Cold and then warm during the afternoon. So today I'm going to repot these and then those are the Echeveria Ambrocata from my front yard. This one is another Echeveria. I will get the name for you later. Um, however, oh, I have also had this fuzzy one. I'm not sure if that's an Echeveria or, or a Sedum. I'm guessing it is a Sedum. And then I have these blue chalk fingers and some other types of Echeveria. And last week, I did some Echeveria polydonis and the Holy Gates. So I have them all here. And they're going to be ready in the springtime. Um, they're going to be ready to go into the arrangements. Here are my Holy Gates. Look how pretty they are. I think they really like the cold weather. This plant right here is Echeveria gray red. It is trying to recover from being overwatered. See how the leaves are they're not that strong. Um, but the the new the new growth right here is nice and plump. New growth right here. Um, I bought it not because I didn't know that um, they were, I don't know, diseased or overwatered. I think it's overwatered. And no, because this was the only one that was left and there was no other choices. So I had to get it. I, I really liked it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to behead some of these um, flor uh, yeah, um, rosettes here and remove all these dead ones or about to die ones because that's uh, pulling energy from the main plant anyway so see how it's easily easily comes off let me see if i can propagate those ones but these ones are just dead you know and this and these leaves are going to take energy off of the mother plant so we don't want we want all the energy to go to the new growth right here see this wow goodness gracious i don't know what's going on but my saving grace right here is this flower which means that it's still going see see this portion right here it's pretty squishy okay and that's the reason why these leaves right here are not, are not um, thriving is because that's overwatered so that's that that's the problem there my Ionium pinwheel loves, loves this weather so much. And when I came home the other day, um, came home the other day and yesterday, I was just inspecting some of these um, plants. I seen mealybugs. So I treat the mealybugs before they get worse. So I'm just inspecting every plant. To make sure that everything is still in tip-top shape this right here what is this it's a mazarine echeveria mazarine wow it really likes the cold weather one of the things that's um, struggling right now is my lilacina I don't know what 
what's going on there but these leaves right here um, it's starting to close up I have to investigate what's going on there and find out how I can fix that my silver spoon fell on the ground and it um, snapped the stem above it uh, so I'm repotting that this one said a very uh, yellow humbert so beautiful look at this this started out with just this stalk right here and one other stalk I think it was this one and then all of a sudden boom 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 I think it likes my cactus juice and all the other things that I in you know introduced to it okay look at this guys this this right here what was that um can't find the mother plant right now oh it's this it's this guy right here no no I think this is a this is a fuzzy one I have to find out what that is but look I just stuck it in the soil and now babies <laughs> that's so exciting so the way I check if they're still good this one this opalina right here I believe it's getting too cold okay and this is also a blue blue giant blue haze blue haze echeveria blue haze no pachyveria pachyveria blue haze so i'm feeling it and i feel like it's really cold so i'm going to take this and i'm going to put her under the sun to get some warmth right there and it's gonna be happy right there it's gonna be happy right there so that's all you have to do is like feel the leaves and see my polydon is right here there's another baby right here that wants to come off the mother and so is this one but they're still too young i'm not gonna pull them out until they're actually like sticking up, up above the mother plant my adolfi really nice beautiful it's like a sun like a, like a sunflower let's see i think she's fine murasaki's Look at look at this beautiful fat new growth that's coming up. They they like the cold weather. Ooh, I gotta show you guys one of the Echeverius that I ordered online. Look at this guy. Look at my agavoids. This is a rare one. This is a rare one. It's much lighter than the normal agavoid compare. Okay, so this guy right here, this guy right here is our normal agavoidus. Okay, this right here is a rare one from um, Korea. Look how beautiful. This one's pale, and this one's a little bit green, and this one's paler. So, when I ordered this one, I thought it was going to die because it, it was uh, bare root. And I just stuck it in um, some soil. I kept checking it, pulling it out, pulling it out. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to just let it be. Right, Blue? Yes, that's right, Blue. You got that right, Blue. Yes, exactly. So we'll just leave her there. And then here are some more of my rare ones. This guy, this guy, and this guy. This one is just thriving. 
Let me go give Blue his treat and come back. <laughs> you happy now? <laughs> this Echeveria rosea that I took out of the planter because it was struggling. I don't know if I had a video of that. Well, I put her in her own pot and look, at, she's just thriving right now. She didn't like to be around the other ones. I'll show you her sister. I call it sister because I bought them at the same time. That's their birthday. Um, sister is overheating. Okay, so I have to rescue sister too. And my topsy-turvy is struggling a little bit um, it's been struggling in this pot I don't think that it likes to be with other ones so I'm just going to pull that out of there and let it recover somehow off, but on its own on her own my Fred Ives I turned her around because I see that she was bending towards on the other side too much so now she's actually starting to bend back over this way where the sun is um, hmm. oh, these people. and just a side note here's our peppers that I'm about to um, harvest and make Tabasco sauce with uh, let's see what else we have your flapjack I think flapjack is going it's it's getting too big for its bridges so even though I like this arrangement right here I have to pull him out and maybe put him in the ground um, I have to read up on it first to make sure that that's okay to do I think it is I've seen it in a different um, scenario where they're in the ground or just in the ground um, treated these guys um, with from mealybugs this right here is like this is flowering right now and um, it's a pagoda crassula catella pagoda pagoda village so I think it's so beautiful it's just the different texture is so pretty my stone crop right here is supposed to be perennial. It's dying. Not very, uh, it's not very hardy. Then we got this one. What happened? <laughs> it's in there somewhere. I'm going to try to propagate that one. That fell off. And then I have this other. Ionium sedi sedi lo sedi lolium Ionium sedi lolium is beautiful. Look at that. And, oops, whoa, it fell out, just fell out, this is, there's probably a growth um, pushing out of there, maybe, it's done, hmm, anyone are doing great. I think I really should remove this tarp now. That's one of my next project is to remove that tarp. This right here, look, it's a baby. <laughs> it's just holding on. I'm just gonna put her back in there. I love this um Raptosatum Rosa. It's just so pretty and it's like it seems like it's propagating so fast look at this it hasn't even separated from the mother and um, it's already 
it's already uh, growing roots. See? I think I'm going to take some of these babies and just or just throw soil on top of them. What the heck? Just let them thrive where they like to thrive. Just make sure that I remove all these dead leaves. Oh, it's cold out here. We're... Auroras are doing great. Whoa. Um, Semper Vivums. They thrive in cold weather. So I think these are all really doing great in cold weather. My burro's tail, perfect. It's doing great. This is the silver spoon that fell out of the, or got broken off of the mother plant. So I'm just, I can um, plant that now because it is healed up. My, this is another one that is from this beautiful plant right here. This beautiful mother. I'll give you the, the name of it. That one right there. Beautiful. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but here's some more Imbricatus. That's a Polydonis right there. I really need to find out the names of these guys and label them. This is another unique Echeveria right here. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you come back and I hope that you would like and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and please support me on patreon i have the link in the description if you would like me to continue doing these um these videos for you guys it's gonna get a little bit more comprehensive i am planning to do um special things for my patrons um maybe like a chat or you know question and answer whatever you wanted to um talk to me about and I would love to talk to you guys. So um, just do a sponsor when I reach my goal. Um, I will open up a chat room for all of us to be able to come and commiserate and brainstorm about all about succulents. Okay, thank you so much and have a great day. Love you guys. Bye.